We'll learn more about the future of the Jaguars today when uh, top management holds a news conference at Everbank Field. The owner, Shad Khan, the president, Mark Lamping, GM David Caldwell, and of course, head coach Gus Bradley will all be there, as will Channel 4. Right now, Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell joins us live from Everbank Field. So, what are they expected to talk about today? Well, Bruce, that is something that we're going to have to wait and find out exactly what it is, which is at 1 o'clock today. But I can tell you a lot of changes have been going on. We have seven new players after last week's draft, and we also had to release several players, so a lot going on. But I can tell you that no matter what, fans are very excited for what they hope to be a very exciting season. Now, the first pick came last week for the team when it was uh, Thursday when they selected former University of Central Florida quarterback Blake Bortles. Six other players were picked in the 2014 draft, including Oklahoma cornerback Aaron Colvin, Florida State linebacker Telvin Smith, and Arkansas defensive end Chris Smith. The Jaguars released six players, including guard Will Rackley, who started 11 games last season. With a lot of changes happening on and off the field, Gus Bradley reminded at last Friday's news conference that the team is always in his best interest. When Chad hired me, it was uh, I have a commitment to the organization to do what I think is best for the organization. And that's what I told Dave. Let's, let's really stay true to that. Let's not let it be about me or you. Let's, you know, that's the commitment we gave to Shot and to this organization and franchise to do what we think is best for the franchise. A lot of curiosity leading up to today's press conference, excuse, news conference, which will be today at 1 o'clock. And as the Jaguars' official TV station, we will air that live on newsforjax.com. Reporting live from Everbank Field, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station.